Hayden on Chats with H and J for today. Today, Julia is going to be answering questions about this deadly disease, also known as the Black Death. How is this deadly disease spreading so quickly? Well, you may not realize, but when you shake hands with someone, call for seas on someone, you are actually transmitting this deadly disease. <coughs> Julia, what are symptoms of all three types of this disease, which are pneumonic, septicemic, and bubonic? Um, uh, for the pneumonic plague, it liquefies lungs, shortens breath, chest pain, and coughing occur. Septicemic plague includes abdominal pain, bleeding under skin due to blood clots, fever, chills, and low blood pressure. Intense. And what about the bubonic plague? Well, for the bubonic plague, fluid symptoms occur, such as fever, headache, weakness, chills, and enlarged and inflamed lymph nodes. True. <laughs> were there any cures that you guys tried, and if so, were they effective? Well, people tried burning the juice and... Uh, Wait, why would you try to burn the juice? <laughs> what are some other cures? Um, they also tried pomanders, which is oranges with cloves, and they also tried flagellation, which is whipping yourself in public with iron spikes. Why? Um, for their punishing themselves for the sins they make. Oh. As far as you can tell, how is town life and society changing due to the plague? The power of feudal lords is decreasing as a result, helping to bring about the end of feudalism. There is not enough workers, so peasants are revolting and demanding more freedom. Wow. How long has this Black Death lasted for? Like I said earlier, it started in 1346 to uh, around 1352. Does this disease target anyone in particular? No, it doesn't matter who you are. It can be transmitted to anyone, anywhere, at any time. Scary. If you get this disease, I heard that they do something to your door. What do they do? They mark it with a red cross so others know not to go in. Did anyone that you know of come down with the plague? Yes, Jacob Hollowell from Matt Tooley's Plague Talk is a young boy who has come down with the plague and is experiencing deadly symptoms. What year did this deadly plague start? Um, it started in around the year 1346. What are people doing to try and avoid the plague? People are trying to stay away from the people who have plague for the fact that it is highly contagious. Wow, this sounds very serious. How many lives has this deadly disease taken? Um, it's taken around one third of the population, which is around 75 million people. That's crazy. Do you, Julia, live with or near anyone infected with the plague? Well, my neighbor just recently caught the plague, and I'm doing my best to stay away from them. Why is the plague called the Black Death? Because of the um, dark patches on the skin. What ideas are doctors thinking of to find cures? Many doctors are trying to find cures, but are failing. These include bathing in vinegar and rose water before yeah. bed and staying on a healthy diet. I heard that people who get infected with this have a terrible smell. What is that from? Well, it is actually the decomposing of their skin. Ew. That concludes our episode of H and J for today. You Do you, one. Julia, wait, where did the one mark it? No, I'd say they mark it. <laughs> Can I ask? Wait. wait. Hi, Mr. Grillitz. Well, you have to ask the question first. This one. You can sit on that chair. Don't fall down the steps. <laughs> right, you need to stop talking right Shut now. Shut up. Right now. Our three possible causes of the plague. Some of us John. believe that the Jews.